In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to macro in B-Swarm Simulator. Videos on B-Swarm Macro are really old, so I thought I'd make a nice fresh new one for you guys. Okay, so starting off, macro is basically this program, and you can put in these things called macros, and basically what it will do is it will actually play the game for you. It will put you in a field, or maybe it'll, it'll have you grind mobs or something, but basically it can get you a ton of free honey and a ton of free resources. Some people using this can make billions a day, and sometimes even trillions. I know during Beesmas, people were actually making like 150 trillion a day, people like Elul. On it actually had to nerf this because it was so overpowered. Brings us right to our next point. Um, some people do wonder if macro can get you banned on B-Swarm. No, it cannot. Macro is perfectly fine. On it is fine with it. Uh, like I said, on it did nerf it, so he does know it exists. He's fine with it. It was just a little too overpowered, so he made it a little less overpowered. Okay guys, so first of all, to start off, we're actually going to get the macro. So what you're gonna wanna do, guys, click the first link in the description and it's going to bring you to this JIT bit as a mouse recorder, basically. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna click download, yes, save. And then as you can see, it's in my right top corner. This is just because I have Opera GX, it shows up right here. But anyways, after that, you're going to open it. You're gonna wanna click yes. I wanted to make changes on my setup. As you can see here, Next, you're going to click I accept the agreement. Don't read this or do if you're one of those people. You're going to click next, and then you're going to click install. Automatically close the app. I already have it installed, so you, you, this won't show for you guys. As you can see here, guys, it's successful. Complete the macro record of setup wizard. Yes, we're going to click finish. And so for me, it actually opens macro already because I've already installed macro. For you guys, it's going to show like this box right here. And basically what it's gonna want you to do is log into an account. You're gonna need like a serial number and whatnot. This actually costs money, but thankfully I have a free one down link in the description. It's the one that like literally everybody uses. There's a free serial number and username down there. So don't forget to control C, control V that into right here. Okay guys, after that, after you've done that, next we're actually going to get the actual macros you're going to use. All right guys, so these are the macros that you can use. These are just some simple ones. These are some gifted TY macros that I definitely didn't just steal from another YouTuber's description. But anyways, it's okay. Um, you're going to click download and then you're going to continue. And as you can see right here, it's starting. And then as you can see right here, it's downloaded. You sure you're going to open it. Then as you can see, here are all of the macros. So what you're going to do is you're going to highlight them all. This is what I did. Control C. Then you're gonna go back to downloads on your computer and then just control V. So as you can see, here are all of these macros. And so what you're gonna do is you're going to go back to macro and then you're gonna see this little file thing. Before you click that, this is extremely important. Guys, remember you make sure to do this. You're gonna click settings and then you're gonna go back to playback settings. And then for you guys, it'll show one, I think, but for me, it says zero. You want to change it to zero, make sure you have zero. As you can see here, it says infinite playback. So basically, if you don't have it at zero, then the macro will only run once and that's it. And then your guy is going to get kicked from the game for being AFK for 20 minutes. As you can see, we're gonna go back to file. You're gonna click file and then you're gonna click open or control O if you wanna use the weird hotkeys here. This is all of the macros that we downloaded. For this example, I'm going to use the pine tree macro. Okay guys, as you can see, we're in B Swarm. Make sure, this is just my private server, but make sure that you do have the second hive, uh, what is it, claimed. Otherwise the macro won't work you need this hive slot also make sure that if you have a gifted hasty bee you want to make sure you don't have that in your hive otherwise you will be too fast you'll walk a little too fast and then the macro won't actually work if you're wondering why i have a gifted hasty bee it's because i wrote my own macro that does allow for a gifted hasty bee so yeah guys just make sure you get rid of that and so now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your macro and then you're just going to click play. I'm going to go full screen again. And so as you can see, guys, it resets your character. Don't worry, that's completely normal. Basically, what the macro is doing is it is making sure that wherever you are in the map, it makes sure that you are now standing on your hive slot. As you can see, I am right here. Also, another thing, the macros that I've linked in the description, those are not the only ones that you have to use. There is the Bee Swarm Simulator Discord, not the Bee Swarm Discord. There is the Bee Swarm Macro Community Discord. I highly recommend joining it. They're so nice. I have my videos featured in there. But basically, they just have a bunch of free macros that you can use in there for all sorts of different things, way more complicated than the ones that I linked in the description. While I was talking, the macro is starting to work. It is starting to make my character go to the Pine Tree Forest because that's the macro we chose. And as you guys can see, like I'm little, I got my hands, I'm like clapping, I'm snapping, like I am not touching the keyboard at all. If I was touching the keyboard, you would also 
also hear my keyboard noises. But as you can see, I'm not touching it. The macro is 100% working as intended. Okay, guys, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stop the macro. The macro uh, stop hockey is just control P. And as you can see, it stops there. And so another thing you're gonna wanna know is if you go to settings, and then if you go to, I think it's recording settings. Nope, it's, it's playback settings. As you can see, it hides the topmost playing bar. So let's say I didn't have that activated. Then when I'm macroing, it's gonna show this bar in the top corner. I don't really like that. So I just had to get rid of it, hide the topmost playing bar. When you start macroing, then it's not gonna show up there. So if you don't know how to stop it, use control P. That will stop the recording because it won't show up here if you use that. Guys, this was a really brief macro video. I basically just covered how to work it. But if you want a more in-depth macro video, just be sure to like or comment. Just let me know. And I will literally make one if you guys want me to. Like, I'll make a more in-depth video on what bug runs, vicious beat checks, what nighttime checks, a bunch of all this crazy stuff that can get you a bunch of crazy loot. So just let me know if you want me to make a video on that because I totally will if you guys want. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Make sure you don't kill your PC macroing. And I'll see you all later on the Summer Simulator guide.